Hey friend, in this video, I want to go over why it might seem harder to replace your rear wheel bearing on your truck rather than your front. If you need any parts, check us out at 1AAuto.com. We'll ship those parts out to you fast and free. My name's Len, let's get into it. We'll start with the front wheel bearing. For this, you'd want to safely raise and support the vehicle. You'd continue on by removing the lug nuts and the wheel. After you have the wheel off of there, you're going to want to remove the caliper from the area. The caliper should have two mounting bolts that hold it to the back side of the knuckle. Go ahead and remove those and slide the caliper out of place. Give those brake pads and brake rotor a clear inspection. You're going to want to spray down that axle nut a little bit. We can remove that. Use a hammer and punch and give the axle a light bonk in the center. We're trying to break it free from the wheel bearing. Once that's broken free, you're going to continue on to the ABS wire. Typically, you'll find that mounted to the brake hose in some way, and then it leads all the way up to an electrical connector. Go ahead and disconnect that and give both sides a quick inspection. On most applications, you can just twist that knuckle one direction or the other and gain access to the three mounting bolts that are on the back side. Those are the mounting bolts that are holding the wheel bearing to the steering knuckle. You can go ahead and remove those. You're going to want to remove the bearing from the knuckle itself. To do this, you can use a hammer or maybe even an air chisel along the backside there. We're gonna cause some vibration and see if we can get it to pop right out of there. You wanna make sure that you clean and inspect that steering knuckle. Any debris or corrosion in this area can potentially cause an issue where the alignment might be off in some way, or even after you hit a couple bumps, the bearing might loosen up, which overall could be extremely unsafe. After this is nice and clean, go ahead and apply a little bit of copper anti-seize, assuming you have some, and insert your new wheel bearing. Torque everything to manufacturer specifications. At this point, you would just continue on with reinstalling everything you had taken apart along the way, making sure that you clean and torque everything to manufacturer specifications. Now let's move along to talking about replacing your rear axle bearing on your truck. Some people might think that this is harder overall than replacing the front. Maybe it is, or maybe it's just a little bit more time consuming. Now one last thing before we get started tearing this thing apart. Whenever I'm doing rear axle seals or bearings, I always like to do them as a pair. To do this, once again, safely raise and support your vehicle so the wheel's off the ground. After you've done that, continue on to removing the lug nuts and the wheel. Remove those brakes and give them a quick inspection. Just like in the front, you want to make sure that they're not worn or damaged in any way. To remove the axle, you actually have to get underneath the vehicle and drop that differential cover. While that differential fluid's coming out of there, make sure you give it a quick inspection. With all the fluid out of that differential, the next thing you want to do is have a peek directly in the center of that pumpkin. Inside of this area, you're going to find that you have a large pin. That pin holds in some of those gears. We have to remove it. You're going to find that you have a small pinch bolt in there. We'll use an eight millimeter, typically on most vehicles, to remove that small bolt and give it a quick inspection. We're going to be reusing that and this large pin that comes through here. So you wanna make sure they are reusable, otherwise go ahead and replace them. Make your way out to where the axle is, out on the outboard side where those brakes were. Go ahead and give it a little push inward. You'll find that it goes in just a scotch. That's because inside of that area, there's a small C-clamp. Go ahead and take that out of there and give that a quick inspection. If it looks like it's worn or thin in any way for some reason, you have to go ahead and replace that because that's the locking clip that holds the axle in. Now with that clip out of the way, we can continue on pulling the axle right out of the differential. Be careful, it's heavy. Now while you have the axle out of there, you have a clear view of the axle seal and directly behind that is where the bearing's located. Pop the seal right out of there. Go ahead and give it a quick inspection. It is not reusable. Now we'll take the slide hammer and give that a couple loving taps, trying to pull the bearing out and away from the differential. Once you have that out of there, I always like to give it a quick inspection. Each one of those little roller bearings, you wanna see if it has scraping, scoring, or even some discoloring in that area. With the bearing out of the differential, the next thing that you wanna do is make sure you clean down the differential, especially in the area that you had removed that bearing. It's also a good time to go over to the other side of the vehicle and do the exact same thing. Now at this point, we can install those brand new parts. We'll take that bearing and put it directly against the outboard side of the differential. You'll notice that it doesn't press in by hand. You're going to have to use a bearing installer. We'll take that tool and put it directly up against the bearing and start driving it in, making sure that we're as flush as possible. At first, you're gonna hear a little bonk, 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 and then it's gonna turn into a tink, tink, tink. Essentially, the sound is going to change. That tells you that the bearing is bottomed out where it should be inside of the differential. As for the seal, what you would wanna do is use a little bit of petroleum jelly on the inboard side of the rubber seal. Once you have the seal in there, you're going to wanna make sure that you put everything back together the exact way that you had removed it. Making sure that you put in the locking clip, the pin, and that little pinch bolt, and make sure you torque it so nothing loosens up while you're driving down the road. 
Aside from that, you can reinstall the cover, add your manufacturer specified fluid, reinstall the brakes and the wheels. While doing this, it's a good idea to let the differential sit at an angle for at least several minutes on each side. That's going to help the fluid make its way all the way down to the bearing that you had replaced, especially assuming you did both. Once you've replaced either of your bearings, no matter if it's front or rear, you're going to want to make sure that you take your vehicle for a road test and confirm the fix. It's always a good idea to make sure you get yourself a four wheel alignment afterward, especially if you replace the front wheel bearing. Now with everything you heard about replacing your bearings, does it seem like it's more difficult to replace the rear bearing rather than the front? But for me personally, replacing the rear wheel bearing does require a little bit more time and require more parts, such as a seal, some gear oil, possibly an additive of some sort, and of course you want to make sure you have the specialty tool, such as a slide hammer, to be able to pull out that rear wheel bearing. Now I hope you liked the video, I hope you found it interesting. If there was something in this video that you think might help somebody, go ahead and share it with them. If you liked the video, or even loved the video, go ahead and smash on that like button for me, it would mean the world. While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell, that way they're you. All of your friends can be kept up with all of our latest content, thanks. For this, you wanna make sure that you have the axle bearing and the seal that goes in for it. I'll slide it right inside that differential tube past the bearing. Flip the little doohickey. <laughs> I'll slide it right on inside the little doohickey. <laughs>